Hey guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here. I'm here with Ethel and AB. Hey guys. And Psychic. Hey guys. And we are back. What is this called? Festival Skyblocks. Festival Skyblocks 2. We're back in it. Ooh. Now, we you may have noticed, or not, I don't know what you noticed. It's your own deal. That uh, we did not put out two episodes last week because somebody had to go to the dentist. I have teeth. Oh, yeah. That needs to be taken care of. I have teeth. 1,000% argument. best argument ever. So, <laughs> All right. So uh, last episode, uh, we had kind of set up these auto compressors, and we were getting a whole bunch of ores in. Now, I, just give me a minute to vent, and then we'll move on to something else. So this bad boy right here is great. Five times or smelting. You guys aren't even up here. Everything. Well, I was charging my my jetpack and then you started. So okay, well we'll wait. Give me a second. So sorry. All right, it's done. Psychic cow was voting. Is that fun? Okay. Oh, well now I'm up here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh hey, how you doing? Okay. So everything from here back is running mm -hmm. amazingly. Okay. Yay. All the all the, the juices seem okay. We're kind of backlogged on stuff. That's great. This one's working great. Okay. Okay. So basically, you know, you the the this melts the stuff down, puts the juice in here, this does a thing, puts it in here, this does a different thing. Okay. Here is where the problem is. This guy right here, the chemical injection chamber, because if you notice in the middle, it needs hydrogen chloride to run. Right? Okay. And Hydrogen chloride comes from here, from this stuff, yeah. and this stuff. This stuff comes from this juice, which comes from this thing. The problem is, if we put it in, this hydrogen chloride runs out so quick. And the reason is because this bad boy runs out of brine. Okay, so I did a couple of things. I put a couple of tanks here to hopefully get kind of a brine backstock. Like right now it's not running. And mm -hmm. this, so okay. you kind of keep this filled up and then the brine comes over because it also goes to this machine over here. Um, That's why when I was like, we need to make two thermal evaporation things. You're like, I'm not, I'm just- I don't, Well, you line. know what it is? I think we might actually, well, it's, and here's the funny part. It's not even necessarily this thing. 100%. We said we were running out of brine, which is what we were running out of the last episode. Here's the issue. It's water. This thing runs out of water really fast. Now, I'm not saying the brine would keep up if the water kept up, but the water runs out, which, of course, slows down the brine. Now, I we have the basic mechanical pipes on here, and I've gotten some suggestions in comments of hooking up. I made some of the... Is it this one? No. Which one was it? I made elite mechanical pipes, okay? They're not the top tier, but the one below. The problem is when we hook it up here, it drains these things faster than they can reproduce, which then breaks them. Because if they, <laughs> if, if they, if it drinks the water quicker than it can make it, then it, it drains it and they're empty. Yeah. Um, so I didn't do those. Uh, people kept saying, hey- Even if you make the reservoirs bigger? Instead yeah. of four by four. Yeah, because I try, I try to make it uh, f two by two by two. I took this one down and put it down here, and it still just drains it faster than it can make them. Okay, mm. so we run mm. out of water. Now some people were like, "Hey, instead of using those, just use a sink." You know the sink yeah. from uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. cooking with cooking. blockheads, right? Because that's an unlimited water supply that you can hook oh, tubes up to. Here's the issue. We don't have cooking for blockheads in this pack. No, we don't. So this, so we don't have the sink. So the only other thing, if we wanted to mess with this, to hopefully get the water going. Now, here's the two things: if we can get, if we we can make a pump from mechanism, put it over a you know unlimited water supply, maybe like three by three, and put it right in the middle, and maybe the pump will get the water because it, it you know because it's unlimited it doesn't steal the water the actual water mm -hmm. and pump that and maybe that will keep the water up the other thing is is making this bigger could help and then finally can you make it bigger though because remember it had to be exactly this it had so to be it, it had to be exactly this but it can go up more levels 
So it has yeah, to have the top all like all this. It has to follow all the rules, but it can go higher. Also, I think the next thing is is power. Getting the heat higher for Get it, Getting the heat hot enough. Because if you look inside of here, if you look at the controller for this, and you look at this bottom bar, this green bar, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. the way up in that green bar would be complete efficiency. Hotter it is, more brine it can make. The only thing is, is that I did play with the power, and I actually emptied this is, I did this off camera like a week ago. I actually ended up emptying your capacitor bank. This oh, giant capacitor bank. That's a lot of power. By turning up the heat, because I needed the freaking brine. <coughs> I sat on here for probably a couple of hours trying to figure out a tweak. You know what You know what would power that? What? Yeah, the, the extreme reactor. Uh-huh. I would agree my only concern and issue is... In all of the time of this running, we have five Eulorium chunks. My bad, ten Eulorium chunks. Oof. We're not getting Eulorium in. Eulorium only comes from seeding dust, I think. So we would have to set okay. up a system or, or seeding sand or gravel. I don't remember which one it comes from. And it has to go through a certain sieve. And we would have to set that up automatically to even start to get enough. Now we may have it's some dust through a diamond sieve. Yeah. Now, okay. We might have, but we would have to wait on that. We couldn't get that today. Uh, we have five ingots in here. We do have fifteen yellow. Right? You know what? I actually just remembered. We have mm. this guy going on over here. Uh, do we have yellow right in here? Actually, we have almost two stacks of yellow, right? I know. That's why I was I very I for, I, We haven't been on here in two weeks. Uh, <laughs> honey, Zyke has teeth, okay? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't look like we have any more Eulorium in here. Now, the thing is, this right here, this uh, Void Ore Miner that we have that's getting us ores, is a mm -hmm. Tier 1. Okay. okay. It's the most basic one. There is actually up to tier six. Okay. Um, you get into higher tiers. They're faster. They're um, but they they use more power. But you can add modifiers to make them even faster. And we've actually gotten a lot of the crystals in. These are kind of tiered to where you have to get like these crystals to make the next tier. But you have to get it from the last tier. So we would have to go up to two and then go and get the stuff and go up to three and look at me having Discord open while we're recording and getting a boop boop sound. <laughs> Damn it. So so anyways, as of right now, this process works. It makes five times. Um, it's actually insanely slow. And I actually made a whole bunch of upgrades to try and get the gas-powered machines to run more efficiently, speed upgrades, energy upgrades, and everything. And I could just, I couldn't get this to the point where it was stable enough to just feed all the ores in and just let it do its thing. Okay. It was not stable enough. So, <clears throat> so we may need some more time to kind of play with that. Maybe once we do get into making extreme reactors. And maybe maybe we'll make an extreme reactor solely for this reservoir heater. Like we'll make one just for that, and then okay. crank it up as high as it'll go. And then maybe maybe at that point it'll keep up. So so right now we still have some room in these diamond chests. We don't have a chunk loader on here, so we're not really getting the ores offline. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we haven't been on here much, but. I was thinking if you girls want to try and play with a mod that you two have never played with, and apparently I've been informed by Heather that I have played with it, but I'm, mm. con I'm convinced that there's been a concussion event that she's not telling me about, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure it goes a little something like this. Heather, how did you, why did you spend all this money on hammer on the head, lay down, hey. wait for a day or two, wake up, and say, what's happening? Ooh, do we have yogurt? Like that's, I'm pretty sure. 
I have a funny because there's I'm, there's big points of time that I don't remember, like uh, March. You remember March? What happened in March? Your birthday? Don't remember. All right, so <laughs> so if we look up Woot, actually look up Woot Guide. Okay. At Woot Guide? No, just look up Woot Guide, not at. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's a book and a piece of rotten flesh. Okay. All right. So let's kind of see if we can look at this. I've never looked at this book because I think when I did it, there wasn't a book. Right. We need books. We need books. All right. Let's see. Do we have a stuff for books? We don't have leather. Can we do it this way? We don't have patterns. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I got the books. <laughs> Do you have a secret stash? Apparently. I did it quick. All right. Oh, you got the... the wait, did you get books for everybody, young lady? Where'd the books go? I, I have a woot. I made a woot, a woot book just now. I have a woot book. I made two extra books, so there should have been... There should be another one in my... Look in my... The first... Look at the oh, first one. There it is. Oh, go. she was hoarding it. All right. No, I just shift clicked. Uh-huh. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Ooh, pictures. <laughs> All right, what is the forward? Instruction. I like how. Do we want to read this? No. No. It says that feed it lots of power. Yeah. Weren't we just saying that we didn't have power for things? Well, we don't have power to turn that thing up as high as we want. <clears throat> All right, how to build. It's under the first thing. All right, so to build a factory. So basically what this is, before we get into it, what the Woot mo Farm mod is, what the Woot mod is, it is a mob grinder mod, okay? So it's pretty much just a mob farm mod. But okay. the nice thing about it, and really I think one of the reasons why people are, you know, kind of, starting to put in packs and play it and stuff like that is is that it is a mob farm that doesn't actually spawn physical mobs okay so it's it's kind of like this void ore miner is getting ores that aren't but it's not actually mining anything it's not breaking blocks and bringing them in it's just basically pulling them out of its void void minery butt it's okay. The, it's the same thing with the Woot Farm. So you'd set it up, say, to like a zombie spawner or a zombie farm. It especially if you have, you know, like a big server with a lot of people on it. You know, like say one of our Patreon servers. Check out our Patreon. Come join. Um, mm -hmm. And they wanted mob farms, and we've run into situations where you know we're not going to say any names. Russian, mm. but had you know, <laughs> roughly about a hundred thousand villagers in a nine by nine by five hole that was lagging down a good chunk of the server. This won't lag because there's no entities, there's no mob drops. It literally just runs and puts the drops from the mob that you want into a chest. That's it. Okay. Um. So. To build a factory, you should create a guide block. This will allow you to see in the world where the blocks need to go, as uh, as these can be large structures. Place a gui guide block on the ground, and it'll display the factory layout. You can right-click to cycle through different factory tiers in creative mode. We don't need to worry about. Uh, if you're upgrading a factory, then you can place the guide block one block away underneath the factory heart, and it will line up correctly with your current structure. So that's kind of nice, so that you would just break the blocks you don't need and put in the new blocks you do need to upgrade. You don't have to necessarily tear it down. Okay. Once the factory st structure is in place, you can validate it by clicking with a stack of torches. The number of torches in the stack determine... Oh, well, damn it, how do Which I Which something that you want? Yeah, something valid date. Okay. <laughs> Check your stop stuff, people. So, all right. Uh, let's look at tiers. There are four tiers of factory available, depending on the mob you want to spawn. Each has a minimum factory tier 
that is needed, meaning like I think like the, the core block. Higher mm -hmm. tiers can also support a large number of upgrades and, and higher tier upgrades. All tiers of factory support all the power cells. What? All tiers of factory support all the power cells. It seems like there's too many words in that sentence. All tiers of factory support all the power cells, meaning that all of the tiers, all the power cells will run them. Well, I didn't know I had to, I had to make like a dramatic pause between factory and support. <laughs> they forgot the comma. <clears throat> I know. I, well, I read like a nine-year-old. Tier one factory supports up to tiers I upgrades. I, I, one, not I. Yeah, I know, honey. It's a team effort, not I. There's... There's no I in team, but there is ME, so. <laughs> tier I factories need tier I. <laughs> I'm going to stop that. So tier <laughs> one factories need two tier one capstones, 14 factory bone casings, 10 factory flesh casings. So should we get this stuff and see if we can yeah. do it? Yep. All right. I'm going to get flesh casing because that sounds hilarious. That's gross. All right. All right. Which one are we doing? Tier one. Tier one. Tier just, one. Just getting the stuff. I'll get the bone casings. Tier one. One. Cast. All right. So we need factory base is a material. It is made from soul stone, which is soul dust and cobblestone. To get soul dust, we need to get soul sand and hit it with a yaw hammer. <laughs> um, that's a fun name. Mm -hmm. I can't make what I'm. The first one, you guys are doing the the second two, but mm -hmm. the first one, it there is nothing named that. <laughs> what is Ca it? Capstone. Capstone. Yeah. All right, let's read in the book. Mm -hmm. Capstones are not the name. Ha ha, got you. Okay, see that's not. That's, that's not, right. not what it says. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Uh, let's see. building of two parts the factory structure consists of two structures the first is the main factory structure where the heart upgrades and mob controller live and it looks like they made them a little family that's fun the second is a remote structure which provides power import and export of items and fluids the remote structure must be located at least 10 blocks directly below the heart um, the remote structure consists of a column of three blocks. Okay, this is confusing. Now. I think uh, I found it. What is it? Under? Type in factory tier one cap. I just searched an at woot and was searching through them. That seems right since it has cap. Factory what? Tier one cap or tier I. <coughs> Oh, there they are. Factory it's the only thing cap. with cap in the name, so... Now, why did it not come when we just typed cap? No clue. Cause or maybe it did, once I started going... Okay. There's a lot of things with There's cap. A bunch of, yeah. yeah, they're there. Alright. So, back to what I was saying. Um, we need to make a bunch of factory base. So, it's that soul stone stuff, and then it's Steigen iron plate? Yeah, I'm making the ore right now. Okay. Because I need the anvil to make the thing I need to make. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, you want me to make the hammer real quick? I guess, I, we, I, I guess we can all make a hammer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're too legit. No. Too legit to quit. Hey, her. No. Okay, honey, calm down. Yeah. Don't get mad. You, you just got to pray. Just gotta pray just to make it today. I said pray, pray. Ten of these. Check this out. I got a cool hammer. Oh, I dropped it near your foot. Hammer, don't hurt her. All right. So. Oh my God. Yeah, that was a journey. That was a journey we just went on. That was a good time. That was a good time. No. Yeah. No. Don't be so saucy. I'm always saucy. I know. <laughs> but don't tell anyone. All right. So this stuff is okay. So it's netherrack, soul sand, and iron ore makes those. That's not a well. This is not bad. I 
thought I didn't really like the uh, thing. So you're making the the anvil. anvil, okay? And then what? What are you? Are you running into something that you can't do? Well, like I you? just need the anvil so we can get the sticky and iron plates so that we can actually <laughs> finish it. I don't know how it's pronounced. All right, um, I'm gonna make some of this soul dust. Sound good? Have fun. Sure. Okay. And a couple stacks of that. Then I burped a little bit. And then we're gonna combine it with cobble to make mm -hmm. soul stone. So. Uh, all right. All right. There we go. I have four stacks of soul stone now in the system. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I think this, this, you're making the anvil right now, right? It's already made. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, look at that. Now, the fun part with this is there's no GUI on this guy. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what we need to do... Oh, we just need to make more of this stuff. You didn't make extra of this stinging. I right? did not, but I can right now. It might be oh, better. Yeah, you know what? It might be better to do it on the anvil because it's two ingots per plate if we do it with a hammer, but it's one ingot per plate if we use the plate die. What? I don't know what you just said, but we need soul sand. Oh, did I use it all? Okay, we'll run and get some. To the nether! Where's the portal? The other side of the mob the... farm. Oh, that's right. Do I have a shovel? Of course not. I do. <laughs> I should probably get a shovel. Just maybe a little bit. Nah, you'd be fine. Just punching it. Yep. You'd be like, I got seven! And I was like, I got it all. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the soul sand in here, dumb. What was that? Oh, I just made that weird <laughs> sound. Oh yeah, the, that's the potato okay. crown. Yeah, you were shifted. You're shifty. <laughs> I didn't say shifty. Hey, language. Ah. Anyways. No, he is. He is. <gasps> hey, remember the <laughs> you beginning? Are. What? I am shiftless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you notice how I had to pause. Uh huh. I was like, Bodie, you say this right. You don't. Don't. Because if you do, you're going to have to edit. And you don't like to do that. Obviously. Anyways. Well, here's the funny part. We're already over in time. Oh, well. There yeah. you go. Huh. Time, time flies when Modi blah, blah, blahs. Anyways, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns. Shut up, Gaston. Do the outro. Uh, questions, comments, concerns. Put it down in the comment section. Uh, whoever's you watching, make sure you check out the other two channels down below. And while you're there, hit the like and subscribe button there as well. And it is near the beginning of the month. And we would love to hang out and meet all of you. And the best way to do that while supporting what we do is becoming a Patreon. Go check out the mm -hmm. Patreon link down below. We just refreshed all three of our servers. So we've got ourselves a uh, squad pack, mod pack five, flat pack. Uh, we have, uh, what's the other one? Simple Life 2 Genesis. And we have Vanilla 113.1. All for your Minecraft pleasure. Come all right, over. I got a bunch of stacks here. Okay, I haven't found any yet. <laughs> <laughs> I currently have found... Hey, there's some soul sand. Do we have vein miner in this? Yep. Mm -hmm. do I have to, what do I hold? Do I put it on this thing? Whatever oh, God, there it is. Do. Got it. <laughs> Anyways. But, yeah, come join us. Uh, help support what we do. And, we, you know, we love meeting you guys and getting to chit-chat with you guys. And, uh, I mean, you can become a patron to any of the squad members. Obviously, mine's the best. No. Mm -hmm. Zykicks? She's mm -hmm. in the top five. Six. There's six. So of us that well, okay, hold on. Real quick. <laughs> Who's number six? Because <laughs> that is a lonely, lonely spot right there. Holy jeez. So. You. <laughs> wow. I almost choked to death on my own spit. I almost drowned in my own mouth moist. Anyway. Gross. I know. Me dying. That makes people sad. 
Anyways, and uh, if you guys want to get your very own server, just... Oh, good, I don't have a waypoint to the portal. Well, it looks like I live here now. Bye, ladies. Um, if you guys want to get your very own server, just like the one we're using here, and for all of the squad packs, you can do that by becoming... Not becoming. By going in, by becoming a member of Host Havoc. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Segway. I'm a professional something. Um, yeah, go check out Host Havoc. It's who we use. Uh, we've had nothing but great things with them. Careful. <laughs> why, why you you started that word and I instantly just started sweating? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I sweat just fine on my own. Thank you very much. And I can't get out of the nether. Damn it. Anyways, go check out Host Havoc. I don't know where the portal. I lost my portal. I thought it was in these pants. Oh, now I can't fly. I'm gonna live here and become a zombie pigman. <laughs> Anyways, guys, till the next episode. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.